So you already watched the how to get your partner pregnant deep dive video, but after 30 minutes into this two and a half hour behemoth, you already posted your questions because you couldn't wait to get your question in, waiting all the way to the end of the deep dive. Don't worry, here's the addendum live stream where I'm going to answer all of your premature ejaculations, I mean premature questions, using the exact same answers which I highlighted in the deep dive video, right after the disclaimer, dropping in three, two, one. Vigor Steve here. Uh, let's discuss all of the questions that were um, raised during the How to Get Your Partner Pregnant deep dive video. Uh, there were a lot of them. So uh, let's just go right ahead into that uh, part of the video and then we'll address a little bit more uh, coming from the chat. All right, um, here is the overlay. So here at the top, you can see that uh, I have a boatload of studies. Right? Videos are discussed in all of the studies. So for all of the guys that are interested in reading the studies which I cited or used for the deep dive, you can find them in the pinned comments right at the top, right? Growth hormone and fertility effects, aromatized inhibitors, effects on fertility, the effects of 5 reductase inhibitors on fertility, DHA and pregnenolone effects on fertility, oxidative stress, whether that results in a boy or a girl or autism. I think that's uh, here as well, or maybe a little bit lower. Oh yeah, testicular oxidative stress, oxidative stress and autism and female orgasm and pregnancy rates. It's all cited down below, and serums and blood clots, it's all cited down below in the pinned comment. So let's start answering some questions. Uh, Weave Hyde says, we both got married at 35, been trying for a couple years now and no luck. Looking forward to trying your suggestions. Thanks for making these. Yes, yeah, so hopefully after two and a half hours of the deep dive, you've got some solutions to tackle your problem. Here before even having a wife, yeah, it's uh, having a wife or a partner at least, a female partner. If you have a male partner, you're going to have to adopt, if you're a male yourself, obviously. Um, so you need a, a female partner to uh, make ends meet and get yourself a boy or a girl or both further down the line. Jake Schumann says, I'm on 300 milligrams of testosterone and 180 milligrams of masterone. Anethate per week and four, I use growth hormone. And my wife has been pregnant for five weeks. Now I tried every protocol and gave up back on last year, full blast. And now she got pregnant. I don't know how, but it happens. I'm so freaking excited. All right. So Jake is probably going to get a girl because producing uh, offspring on cycle usually results in uh, females, which is not the end of the world. I was waiting for it since you started the journey. <laughs> Sorry, it took so long. This fertility protocol of mine has been two years in the making, and that's why it ended up being two and a half hours long, because so I combined all of the effects that I got from the fertility consultations over the last 10 years with the effects that I experienced undergoing various protocols. Um, so I think I addressed all angles and all potential questions, even though there's a good amount of questions here. Brian Fit AF says, 15 years of blasting and cruising, ran 5,000 IOS HG weekly, on top of my normal gear protocol for four months, MS sperm count and motility was three times the normal range. Successful pregnancy, no issues. All right, that's good to hear. So he stayed on cycle and he brought his fertility parameters up to three times the normal range. So that's off the top of my head, uh, 30, 45 million sperm per one milliliter and 40 to 80, 120 million sperm per ejaculate. And then uh, let's see, motility was what, 4%? So you got a motility of 12%. So, and it's more than enough to get your partner pregnant. So good on you, Brian. Uh, let me know if you got a girl. Let's see, did he get a girl? I guess not. We will never know, but it's probably a girl. Uh, thanks, Steve, this was a very helpful video. A diamond heart double front double bicep to give the uh, homongolous algorithm boost. Uh, let's see, I have to watch this in several parts. Great work, Steve, will definitely be helpful a few years down the line. Yeah, make sure you use the timestamps. Again, this is one of those evergreen videos. I didn't expect too many views, but I'm happy that it didn't bomb because honestly, I was thinking that it would get maybe 2,000 views. I know you guys love performance enhancing drugs, but the thought of having children with uh, fertility uh, protocols uh, at hand, um, I suspected that the video would bombed down to like 2,000 or 3,000 views, but I'm happy to see that it got 6,000 views. So much appreciated for all of the guys that watch this video, even though you're not thinking about having kids yet, at least you're well-informed and well-prepared just in case for a few years down the line. Outstanding, thanks, Steve. Great video, thanks so much for the information. I hear leaving a like and comment for the algorithm raises your luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone levels. Yeah, I've heard the same. 
Um, and it, but it only works if you do it on every video. <laughs> so you have to like and uh, leave a comment for this video as well. And then over time, you might have a higher likelihood of sustaining your testicular function because LH and FSH levels stay in range, right? It's a gospel of the gym bros, but I heard that it works. And that saves you copious amounts of money on recombinant follicle stimulating hormone and recombinant human chorionic gonadotropin because, well, HPTA is not impaired as long as you leave a like and a comment. <laughs> Nick Flynn, you're the man. I have to love this one. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Algorithm post. Super informative. Uh, thank you for all that you do. My pleasure. Two and a half goddamn hours. You don't, uh, we don't deserve you, King. Uh, well, somebody has to do it, so it might as well be me. Uh, nobody has attempted a fertility video like this in the past besides Huberman and a couple podcasts that uh, Dr. Peter Otia has done in his YouTube channel. But for people in the bodybuilding community, there's nothing like this. And I highly doubt there ever will be because this took me thousands of dollars and months to prepare for, and five days to record. That's why I get leaner as the video goes on, because well, I was dieting, and every day I get a little bit leaner, so in the start of the video, I have a chunky face, and by the end of the video, I have a little bit of a lean face. Uh, let's see, Caleb Sweeten says, algorithm this bad boy to the front page. Yeah, I wish that happened. <laughs> Would be nice if we get into trending based on fertility protocols. Uh, 2025 pregnancy rate skyrocketed reasons, vigorous Steve. Yeah, that would be pretty cool, right? Suddenly there's a baby boom and it's all my fault. Uh, Amanda Serna, thank you for all that you do for the community. My pleasure. Pumping this algorithm more than a bathmate. Yeah, you need to pump this all the way to the point that the sides and the tip of your penis is touching the inside of the bathmate. And then the algorithm is sufficiently boosted into the stratosphere. Uh, Joseph Gervais, uh, blessed and cursed for almost 10 years straight. Never really took my fertility serious. I finally come completely off all steroids for a bit for over six months now, trying to regain fertility. My question is doing HG, HMG, and what you're calling here stage two mixed with saying clomiphene bad or counterproductive. So if you take clomiphene in combination with HG or HMG, it's kind of counterproductive because if you're off all steroids and when you use clomiphene to raise your luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone levels, then you would get a suppressive effect through um, the... T through taking uh, HCG and HMG, which contains FSH, and then uh, you basically you're taking enclomiphene for nothing or you're taking HCG and HMG for nothing because the enclomiphene is raising your LH and FSH levels already more, more than sufficiently. And now you get some negative drug interactions by sending negative feedback. So you either do enclomiphene, again, if you can deal with the ocular changes, the mood disturbances, the estrogenic side effects, and the potential for blood clots, or you take HCG and HMG, but preferably recombinant FSH. Papa Steve for the win. That's right. Daddy Steve from now on. Uh, for the algorithm, good work, Steve. My pleasure. Does taking recombinant follicle stimulating hormone three times a week also raise testosterone levels similar to human chorionic gonadotropin? Uh, no, unfortunately, it does not. Or at least I couldn't find it in the scientific evidence. Will it increase spermatogenesis? Yes. Will it increase testicular volume? Uh, yes. And will it increase semen volume hell yes but testosterone levels unfortunately not so you need to combine human chorionic gonadotropin or recombinant luteinizing hormone if you can source it with recombinant follicle stimulating hormone uh, lh and hcg stimulate uh, testosterone synthesis in the testicles and this intertesticular testosterone whether that's in combination with follicle stimulating hormone or not initiates spermatogenesis but spermatogenesis is heightened uh, optimized uh, much better if you combine that with recombinant follicle stimulating hormone or, uh, well, you go the enclomiphene route and LH and FSH is super physiological and thus intertesticular testosterone and spermatogenesis is super physiological as well, assuming you have a functional HPTA. Also, what's the price for gonal f in Thailand pharmacies? Um, so you can't buy those in the pharmacies. You can only get those through the fertility clinics. Again, I linked the fertility clinic, uh, Jetanin Hospital, where we got... Um, all the fertility medications for my wife from. Um, and there, I think it was about 200 or $225 for a nine, no, for a 450 IU pen. So that's about the same price as a 900 IU pen uh, based on what I spent for nine, 900 IU pen. Um, i gotten that online. So the price is a little bit more, but then again, the supply chain is much better because they ship that from the manufacturer all the way to the, the hospital with a cold pack, obviously. And when you order that online, you don't get a cold pack. It just 
arrives as is. So I, or, I ordered a boatload of Gonal F in the winter a couple of years back because I didn't want that to arrive in summer when the temperature is like 35 degrees Celsius here in Thailand and that, that might denature the recombinant follicle stimulating hormone to the point it's no longer viable. So yeah, you can only get Gonal F through uh, fertility clinics and that means you're going to have to go through the grinder of um, meeting doctors, uh, doing semen analysis or, or doing fertility tests for your wife and then getting it prescribed, which again, that can be possible. Um, I might have get, gotten some gonal F and uh, recombinant HCG prescribed through a fertility clinic because, well, I, my fertility parameters were not ideal at the start of my fertility journey. Then again, buying online is significantly cheaper. <clears throat> 